about hope, inspiration and transformation, I also want to talk about relationships as well before we go on to the next speaker, because have you noticed that these next speakers that are coming in and a few previous speakers from Venezuela and from the Latino community, because my soul sister Veronica Sosa and Elena Sotomayor and many people that are in my field who are amazing goddesses, when we're on a mission together collectively, and that's just some of the names, to actually make a difference in the world, then we can make magic happen together in alliance. And when I met Englatina, again, it was just like a soul connection at first connection, first speaking. And being the UN, UN ambassador for peace, I love that title. I think that's right. I can't really see my screen. <laughs> UN ambassador for, for peace, but also to inspire girls, the next generation, but there is so much more about her, about being a fashion model and an actor, actress, but literally her soul literally oozes inspiring young women all over the world. So I now give you your eight minutes, Englatina, and thank you so much for being here. Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, everybody. No, thank you, Vicky, for this great introduction and putting together, uh, as you say, relations, connections. We are all so connected, and um, as as as, uh, as we f the fastest we realize that, um, the better we can achieve and excel and uh, heal. Over overall, is about. Um, sharing stories, no, it's about also healing and that togetherness and that connectivity. I am so very happy to be sp spending this eight minutes today here of inspiring and, uh, and connecting to, to all of the audience and all of the speakers. Uh, this evening, we're live from Miami and here in, uh, in the Latino country of the United States of America. Uh, before I start a little bit about how I, 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 I envision this connectivity and how we can all uh, need to realize how, how powerful we are when we connect and that we are all connected to a, a broader ecosystem, I want to tell you a little bit about my story. I was born, as Vicky was saying, in Venezuela, in Caracas, Venezuela. I grew up in the middle of the Venezuelan jungle in the Amazon, in the heart of the Amazon jungle. And growing up there in that vast nature gave me three main big lessons that I think are worth uh, sharing. And it's a little bit of uh, of what has brought me in this journey here today to, to be with you. One, it's um, the humility to understand that we are all connected to a bigger spectrum of things, to the smallest microorganism. And that humility help us understand that uh, we're not in an era of, of, uh, of I, that individualistic fantasy is not letting us uh, progress as much as we, we can and we should be doing. The second main lesson that it taught me was um, the joy of serving. Uh, when you find your purpose, that it's what we're all here to do, that calling, that authenticity, to have that talk with yourself and, um, and figure out what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, you become a, a being of service. And that's our main purpose. That is in a, a, a overwhelming joy that we feel. And that's the satisfaction that keeps all those uh, demons and, uh, and that voices that we need to silence uh, to stay connected and to, to, to well reinforce that we're unique and we have a, a unique purpose, but we all play together as a common, uh, we share that common goal. And the third one, and most importantly that I take, and um, well, I don't measure them really in, uh, in levels of importance, but this one was uh, the power and the empowerment of being a woman. The Amazon is named after the warriors of the Homeric chants of these Greek warriors. And, um, and it taught me growing up there that really those uh, qualities of strength, of, uh, of, of being fighters, of empathy, of kindness, of collaborations are not given to you or by gender. They are given to you by the human quality. And uh, <clears throat> so you should never let or hold yourself back because of a race, of gender, or the place you were born or the language you speak. 
So with those three main things, you know, my mother will tell me stories all the night, all, every night uh, that we were in the Amazons, there was no electricity. So we have the entertainment was storytelling as we're here today. And um, I want to share this story that she always reminds me. And it's about um, when we don't feel connected and we we stay in that era of of I and my iPhone and my iPad and this idea of of, of in, in the, as an individual where we are a colony we uh, lose our connection to our survival instinct and uh, for me I learned that survival instinct in that in that ecosystem of the Amazons but growing up then you know living in big cities. Uh, and I see often in young kids that th maybe the the concrete or the structures and that um, that lack of interaction with nature perhaps uh, lets you know makes them lose that connection uh, of the togetherness of that power of togetherness. So this is the story of a little girl that my mom would always tell me, and she was in the middle of this horrible, uh, terrible winter in Russia, and she was all alone, and um, she only had a, a matchbox, and she tried to sell the matchbox, and she stayed on a corner, and she stands still on that corner, and people walk by her and ignore her, did not notice her. She tried to sell one match, the matchbox, hopefully, and, you know, uh, by the time that it started getting dark, she was started losing hope, and um, it was getting really cold, and she was freezing. Nobody was paying attention she decided to light a a match and when she lit this match she went into this dream and this fantasy of that she was entering this room and she saw this fireplace and she was about to put her fingers and she was feeling the warm of the fireplace and then the 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 match uh, died and she saw herself back again in that little corner people were not were completely ignoring her and she was freezing by this time already her fingers were turning blue her nose was about to fall off and she decides to turn this other match on and she turns this match and she was starving and she goes back into her fantasy and sees the fireplace feels the warmth and sees this banquet of food and there's turkey and lots and tons of food and she's about to grab a turkey leg and uh, the match again um, ran out and died and she wakes up again with little energy in this lonely lonely place freezing to death she's starving she's freezing she has no energy and she sees, decides to light this last match and then when she lit the match she sounded herself again near the fireplace saw sees her grandmother in the rocking chair and goes to her grandmother and uh and feels the warmth of her grandmother's arms and as the match died this girl was dead frozen in this corner this girl has lost her instinct of survival. If she had her survival instinct, she would have moved, she would have changed places. Always, always remind to add people into your life or surround yourself with people in your life that notice you, that enhance you, that adds you. You can make those choices because again, as an individual, as standing alone, you will never survive. We will not survive if we don't find that connection, if we don't, uh, again, the power of togetherness. Those are my main lessons that I, uh, that I learned back in the Amazon and how to connect back to that instinct. For us out there that are living in a fast lane life and in concrete, we'll always have to find that connection by tapping and checking with each other, uh, checking with ourselves, no? Uh, or, or by breathing, by, uh, you know, how am I feeling? How is this things around me uh, making me feel? And, uh, and then finding your purpose and writing down, write down your weaknesses, your strength. Don't be shy of writing your weaknesses. It's a lot, of, it takes a lot of courage to know how to ask for help and when to ask for help, because again, we're here together we're all connected and we're here to help each other and to be of service finding that purpose because we cannot be all good at everything we need to be you know be aware of what we're good at and really you know create our team of where are my weaknesses and bring together those people that will add you and that will be able to um, where you fail they will um, they will actually enhance you or support you and make you go further excelling with a positive attitude.
always, you know, the, the, you have to um, understand that joy when you're serving, when you find your purpose, when you have your identity, that gives you that, uh, that enthusiasm. So we can never give up. And that's why ultimately I have, uh, for me, life is like a soccer game. It's, it's about teamwork. And uh, that's why I created Goleadoras, which is a foundation that is dedicated to empower and enhance uh, that, uh, that feminine magic in teams, in every, everybody, everybody, girls or boys, wherever you are, we all play a part in this big spectrum of, uh, of life, of nature, of the world and the planet and the miracle that it's life. So finding your, your purpose, understanding which is your strength, don't be shy with your Togetherness, the power of togetherness. Oh my gosh, yeah, the power of togetherness. And that's the thing. We can walk slowly alone, or we can stride together and make a difference. I kind of, I used to love the word togetherness, used to use it all the time, but the message that's been given to me, and you know, it's Veronica and I were talking about it, it's the alliance the alliance of togetherness. And as you mentioned, it's about, I wrote it down, the qualities of strength and notice what enhances you and who, 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 <laughs> who enhances you. That's the thing. It's bringing the people together that actually enhance you and enhance what your purpose is and vice versa, togetherness with alliance for the new world. Yes, I love it. Thank you so much, my love.